Hey guys, Jim Zerbex here. Today I'm going to be exploring, well, what's left of the local legend Royce Wells' House of Psychedelia. An Adelaide homeowner who was set to be evicted from his own house because of its derelict condition has narrowly avoided becoming a rare statistic. This week, thanks to the generosity of his friends and community, his future has been secured. Royce Wells has lived alone in his Eastwood house for 45 years. In January, the state government's Housing Safety Authority ordered his eviction because of safety concerns about the roof falling in. His house is full of spiders and possums, along with thousands of books, records and historic artefacts. I'm the third generation to uh, live here and all these historic collections are, are very important to me. With the help of friends and a local councillor, the eviction deadline was extended four times until a solution was found for him to stay. Progress has been very slow, but um, we've tried to be uh, caring and considerate of what he can handle and uh, also uh, uh, moving at the pace that, that uh, the Housing Safety Authority expect us to move at as well. This week, Burnside Council approved plans to build a cabin for Mr Wells to live on his property. That's uh, ideal because the house will become a, like a historic archive. The house will be a storage of historical material and that's how it should be. The history collection should be in one building and your residence in another but no banks would loan him the money for the work. We were desperate. We, we had to move ahead with getting the building moving, and uh, so my wife and I have decided to uh, uh, lend that money as a, a mortgage. Others have also stepped in to do gardening and get him help with daily tasks like shopping. He is a living treasure in Eastwood, and his history needs to be collected, recorded. We wouldn't be here now talking about Watson for them. Uh, that's the only reason we're here now. Uh, otherwise, the, uh, I would have given up. It's hoped he can move into his new home in March. Eugene Boisvert, ABC News, Adelaide. So when the council was trying to kick Royce out, he had a um, sign out the front. He said the full history of this place, this house. And I'm pretty sure this is it. I'll, um... I'll find a picture and put it up if I can find it. So I found a photo of the sign and it gives a really good history on the house. So I thought I'd um, go through it at the top of this video. Um, so it reads 235 Fullerton Road Eastwood, formerly 8 Eastwood Terrace, Upper Mitcham Road, Lunatic Asylum Road and Brown Hill Creek Road. Um, so the house is called Saverna, um, the first house built on this street in Eastwood by John Hogg in 1880. It was originally the home of Captain James W. Gowan, the manager of Almanda Silvermine at Scott Creek near Cherry Gardens. The house was built on the site of the Knoxville Creek, which was then diverted along the street. In 1915, Mr. and Mrs. L.T. Kelly became the owners and three generations of their family have lived here. Their grandson, present owner and occupier is Royce Wells, church organist, youth leader, 35 years, historian and anti-drug law, anti-cat laws activist. The Almanda Hideaway Adolescent Drop-In Music Club operated here 1966 to 1990, financed and operated by Royce Wells. Weekly mining excursions and hikes were conducted by him as part of the activities. 
Captain J.W. Gowen died in this house in August 1892, as did Mr. Cully in 1935. Royce Wells passed away at age 78 in December 2020 um, due to complications from a possum bite. Apart from Royce's final few months, he lived his entire life in the house, um, which was given to his grandparents as a wedding present in 1915. Um, now, unfortunately, the house is being prepared for demolition, um, and as I've made this video, the house has been completely demolished. Um, now let's have a look. So, Royce used to work in the mines, South Australian mines in the 70s, and um, yeah, he was super into it, and you can see he's sort of got a mine shrine here with all the images of Australian mines and you know it looks like this used to be like a bit of a museum but I mean it's mostly gone now um, but you can see up there there's a lot of images from the Department of Mines. And you can also see from this um, beautiful rainbow door frame that Royce was a bit of a hippie and um, he lived in this house without any running water or plumbing. I think he did have power, um, but yeah, very old school. It's got heaps of records all over the walls. Prince Clearwater Revival, hell yeah. Really old than that, yeah. So when I was exploring in here before, one of Royce's friends came in and was looking around and he told me that Royce was one of his mates and um, that he used, like this used to be his bedroom in here and um, it was so overrun by rat, uh, possums and rats that he had a stick next to his bed that he would poke the possums and rats with when they um, tried to bite him in the middle of the night. So this is Royce's, what was Royce's bedroom. And as you can see, it's been um, really, really filled up with you know all the crap that's been taken from the rest of the house <laughs> i had to climb up through that door so yeah you can see how really piled high this room is because this is the roof right here <laughs> oh man
lots of books. Lots and lots of books. Cobwebs. It's a massive library. But um, now my head's in the cobwebs. Nasty. Well. Jagged wood. Wow. Nazareth. Rod Stewart. Let's do it. Lots of vinyl records here. Biography of Jim Morrison. <clears throat> oh. King Crimson in the court of the King's Crimson King. So many Inspector Gadget posters. Home and old school home and away poster. God, Morrissey has been fucking coated in cobwebs. Totally been ready for ready for demolition, unfortunately. But um, I mean, this is kind of like the mother of all waters houses. Everything that's been stored up in the roof is still there. They didn't even bother taking it out to demolish the place. Ah. So, this looks like either a possum skull or a rat skull. Somebody drop that in the comments if you know specifically what it is. Let's go side a sign. Really old school. And apparently this house was passed down to Royce from um, his 
parents. So it's been in the family for a really long time. And um, yeah, uh, apparently the council was trying to kick him out um, because they said it just, you know, obviously the place is falling apart. You can see the massive cracks in the wall. It's just like totally structurally unstable. But um, yeah. Like, look at this one. The whole house is literally falling apart. Hot metal. What's this? The world of Doctor Who. It's pretty cool, eh? Old school. A poster for the Grand Prix. Fuck. Now that is a relic. Everyone in the community. They banded together and um, they raised the money to get this granny flat built that he could live in. Um, so yeah, this is what's left of it. Unfortunately, Royce passed away last year. But It was good he got to spend the rest of the days where he, his days where he wanted to. And didn't get moved out of his house. I think Royce was also trying to get heritage listing for this property. Um, but unfortunately, as you can see, the council did not grant it a heritage status. And, um, yeah, it's being torn down now. So, yeah, a bit sad. But, I mean, this place would be, like, you'd have to rebuild it to make it livable again, unfortunately. Like, <clears throat> it's just... Way too fucking far gone. Shall we go into the basement? Oh, is that even a question? So this is um this is the basement. And um Royce would keep all the rocks that he mined for his time working for the Department of Mines in here. This is wooden wheel from Sedan Flour Mill. Some books. The Satanist. Alien. The prophecies of Nostradamus. Oh shit. It's a fucking swastika on that, Jesus. And the third ghost book. Jeez, very spooky. I also noticed. First Ace Ventura. 
Wow. I think, um, despite the fact that the house has been demolished and um, Royce has passed, it's still like a really uplifting story that all of Royce's friends and the community banded together to stop him from being evicted and he was able to live um, the last years of his life um, in the house he loved so much. It's a shame I never got to meet Royce. Um, I would have loved to have picked his brain about all the history um, and his knowledge of South Australian mines. Um, so yeah, rest in peace, buddy. Um, thanks guys for watching the video. Um, remember to like and subscribe and um, drop a comment if you like the video. Cheers.